So if you're experiencing this issue like I am, uh, I'm going to show you how to basically fix this. So I have some drone shots on here that I took last week and I basically can't get to them. My computer won't read it. I'm not sure what was wrong at first, but if you're having this issue, uh, just keep watching and I'll show you how what I did to fix it. So first thing I did was go to disk management, just right click the Windows icon, go to disk management. And I just wanted to see if my drive was even detected. Now I'm using a micro SD card reader and then I have the SD card plugged in and it's this one. So it's, it's there, but for some reason the computer just doesn't want to open it. What's going on? So if you go in file explorer and you go to this PC, it's right here. You just can't get to it. If you format it, you're screwed. So don't format it. Uh, you can get this far without formatting it, so you're fine if you see that. So you're going to need a program called Test Disk. Well, this is uh, this is two programs in one. You'll see. So uh, I got this online, and I'll provide a link down in the description so you guys can get it too. So you want to as soon as you download it, wherever you saved it, right click it, hit Extract to. I'm using 7-Zip. If you don't have 7-Zip, I recommend it. It is very helpful for cases like these so right click it extract to test disk and what it does it it extracts everything here into basically this folder so easy now double click it get into here I'll provide a link for 7-zip as well and for at first I thought it was test disk that I was gonna use but it happened to be photo rec so you want to run that let it do its thing and as soon as you get here, uh, you can control this with your up and down arrow. You want to see, so this is my main drive on this system. And here is the SD card. So you, what you want to do is hit enter. And then what you want to do here is you want to do the whole disk, uh, not just FAT32. So do the whole disk. And what this is going to do, it's going to, even though this is only a 32 gig micro SD card that I have, it's basically going to run through every sector and every one and zero or whatever and uh, try and find what you're looking for. So in this case, we're looking for photos and it'll also find even more files you'll, you'll see. So what we wanna do is press up on the arrow key, hit the first one and then here, it looks crazy, but you can go up and down. What you want to do is go back with by pressing left, press left one more time. It's going to load. And then from here, what we want to do is where do we go? Oh, we went too far. So we want to go right. We go right. And then now we're on our C drive, which is basically this. Go back to this PC, go into the C drive. It's literally this right here. So it's the program files x86 and so forth. And you can see a little bit more because those are hidden files. So hidden files are off by default. You have to enable it to see them. So that's why they're there. So what you want to do is select the location by pressing your up, down, left and right arrow keys on where you want to save this scan that the program is basically, basically going to do on the micro SD card. So we want to pick a location where it's going to save. I like to save it on Tempath because it's just quick. It's on the C drive. Uh, if you want to do that yourself, just go to File Explorer, go to this PC, right click. Oh, sorry. Go to local disk, right click it, new folder, rename it to temp. Uh, you can do that. That's totally fine. If you already have a temp, then you already know what you're doing. If you already have one, you don't know what you're doing then I don't know what you're doing so good luck uh, so just right click this so now we're in the temp path so see I've already done the scan and look at all the files it found all of these files it's crazy right but what we're gonna do is we're just going to select a second temp for example just just for this, this video I'm going to show you guys how to do it new 
folder temp2. This is completely empty. There you go. We got, yeah. Let's see if it even shows. We might have to rerun the program. So, oh yeah, we do. Oh no, so we refresh by going left and right. And it's here now. That's pretty cool. So now this one's empty. Or what is this? Probably hidden files. Uh, oh no, don't even, don't worry about these two. So now that we want to confirm this is where we want to go, which is temp2. In your case, it will be temp if you don't have a folder already. This is it right here. This is our location. What we want to do is to hit C to confirm. So now we hit C and then it's going to start a full scan on the micro SD card. So I've already done it. I'm not going to sit here and do it again, but I'm going to show you the results. Uh, depending on the specifications on your computer, you will find out whether or not you have a high or low ETA. Uh, this ETA is of course subject to change and um, it's depending on how much you're looking for the ETA will be high or low all right so in this case I'm just looking for a little bit or it really depends on the size of the micro SD card I don't know uh, quote me on that down below if you have any better ideas on what this does uh, but it works so I'm going to simply close this because I don't need it uh, these are the files and I'll show you the results. Go to this PC. So uh, obviously it won't be in temp because we didn't even finish the scan. So we'll, you can delete that. And as soon as you go to temp, you're gonna see all of this. And then luckily for me, the very, very first folder, it had my photos and it was only 11 photos I was looking for. And they are right here. And they are the photos I'm looking for because of the file sizes. They're about 23 megs. And that's raw format for the drone shots. I'm not sure why this one came out at 40 megs, almost 41, but that's, that's, I guess, I don't know, that's weird. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I hope this helped. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, comment down below. Uh, so the first thing you need is test disk. Uh, I'll show you. Oh, I'll just show you where to get it. So let's see. We're going to open up a incognito window and we're going to do test disk. And we're going to get it on clever files. And then from here, we're going to go to where is it? this site we can close this and then from here you click this button and then don't worry about this add do not worry or click on it that is completely fine oh, but, oh you know what we're gonna have to close it uh, even though I said don't click on it this is the only time I say it's okay to do it alright so close and our download should be happening anytime soon there it is and you can save it wherever you want. So that's one, seven zip, super easy, seven zip, enter, click seven zip and download 64 bit. I have 64 bit, if you have 32 bit, please update your OS. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, I can do it for you. Uh, not remotely, only if you're local. If you are across the world, then you're going to have to wait till I save up for a plane ticket. All right. So just click download, save it wherever you want, install it. And then whenever you right click on a zip file like this one, you can see seven zip. You can extract it and you can also zip files, but zip files are zipping files are a little advanced. Uh, if you want to know how to do that, let me know. Comment down below and I'll make a video. All right. Hope you guys have a good one. Thank you for watching. Have a great 